Good evening, actually afternoon. Welcome on in today's episode of From Day One. Go to a guy we haven't heard from a while. Unclean hands, where he's got a female auditor who just wants to push the envelope. Hey guys, what's going on? Glad to see you back. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want. Uh, today I got a feature from you. She just popped up out of the blue. It's Accountability Angel. She's out of jail. She's back to doing the same nonsense she did before. Don't know what happened to her brother. He's just kind of disappeared from the scene. But Angel is the smart one, so she decided to keep doing what got her thrown in jail. So let, let's see what she's up to today. She just got out for uh, two counts of battery on a marshal, something like that. She ended up doing six weekends. Anyway, let's see what she's up to now. And boy, she is still as delightful as she ever was. Hey guys, the video you're about to see was recorded at the Tazewell County, Illinois Sheriff's Department. I was at the Sheriff's Department recording with Illinois Tyrant News and Midwest Accountability when we encountered Angela Green. It did not take long to uncover during our investigation that this Sheriff's Department does not like cameras and certainly hates officer complaints. Check this out, guys. Uh, well, I did need to record too, but um, I was looking for an officer complaint form, a FOIA request form, and I was wondering why the American flag has a blue line on it. I see our angel didn't get an attitude adjustment while she was in jail. She probably had a good old time in there. A lot of girls of uh, her caliber in there. You know, you know what I mean. Anyway, let's, let's continue. She's off to a great start. You don't know why the American flag would have a blue line on it? No, ma'am. Okay, that's just, that's for police, law enforcement. So you need a FOIA form? Is there an incident that occurred within Tazewell County that Tazewell County was um, I did not wish to divulge that information. I just needed one. She got quite the attitude. She does. Well, they went and whispered on me, so I cranked it up so I could hear what they said. And they're accusing the lady of having an attitude. Well, you walk in and start insulting immediately before anybody says anything. And you might get a little attitude, and I didn't notice her doing anything other than going and getting you a complaint form, just like you asked for. When I first walked in here for a hot minute, just poking around, she gave me some dirty look. Okay, and when you turn in that complaint form, we'll notarize that for you. Uh, well, can you notarize it when I don't identify? Because out of fear for my safety, I would not want to identify. This is what happens with these clowns when they get exactly what they went there to get. They, get, they got the complaint form. Lady hands her one, walks away. Explains to her that they'll notarize it when she's done. So that, that's not a long enough video for Angela to put on YouTube and make any money on. So what has she got to do? She's got to explain how she's afraid and she has to sign it anonymously. And she's challenging the lady behind the window is what she's doing. She's challenging her to screw something up so that she can make a bigger argument out of it, get a longer video out of it. It's, it's absolutely the stupidest, ridiculous, most waste of time I've ever seen. Anyway, let's, let's keep watching because Angela has all kinds of problems today. Okay, we'll see when you turn that in. Well, what do you mean? What does that mean? Will you have to turn in anything for me to notarize that? Um, could I speak? Do you have a sergeant available or something I can inquire further about the complaint process with? Because that sounds mighty frightening. And I wouldn't want to hand you the paper and then you say, oh, I'm not going to take it because you're not putting your name on it. And if some guy punched you in the face or called you a white trash bitch, um, we don't care. You know what I mean? I don't know what you mean. I'm sorry. Well, that's why I needed to speak with a supervisor. What? I'm, I'm hard of hearing, honey. You would like to speak with a sergeant? Yeah. Or anybody, really. Yeah, that should take it, Angel. Start them with a condescension. Not only be rude and obnoxious, but be condescending. And demand a manager. Demand to talk to a manager. Because we know every time that happens, you just walk away free and clear and everything's fine. Ain't that right? Well, let's find out. I'm just curious. And what was your name, honey? My name's Angela. Angela, nice to meet you. Oh, let's zoom ahead through the boring part, shall we? Okay, Angela, I'll just stand here. It's okay. My little legs 
for sitting down for too long? Oh. I blank being first duly sworn upon my oath do hereby testify as follows. Fine, but I'm not sure that's operational right now. Oh, okay. And um, now what would happen if, say, you came out and you were the person I was complaining on? I would send somebody else. Oh, and you wouldn't stick around? You wouldn't be in... No. I, I mean, do you have some law enforcement business? I, I'm, I'm not here to... This do. is law enforcement business. I'm inquiring about the complaint process. Okay. Is your body came Do you out? have a complaint? I do not. Well, I'm trying I, to inquire... I don't understand what this... Is this a civic... Is this a... Do you have a law enforcement business here? Are you wanting to I have business a, here. You, I'm trying to... to file a complaint? Well, I'm trying to tell you. Um, I'm trying to inquire about this. This is highly concerning to me. Uh -huh. If I didn't wish to identify... If you Eden, don't have to. It doesn't have to be notarized. But it doesn't have to be an affidavit anymore. It can be anonymous. Can I request that you guys change this then? Because sure. I feel intimidated by this form. Okay. So the officer just explained to her that none of that stuff has to be done anymore. She doesn't have to give her name. She doesn't have to do this. She doesn't have to have it notarized. And what does she do? She adds something else to it. Now we have to be com concerned about something else. I it's ridiculous. They just keep expanding and expanding and expanding on the problems uh, to fit their narratives. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. It's a waste of our resources. Uh, we the people are sick of them wasting our money. That's what we're doing. It could, um, be, it could be quite confusing okay. to someone that doesn't know. Is that your only question? Uh, no. Now, I or somebody else would have to submit to a polygraph? Is that still true as well? No, it's not. Oh. Yeah, because do you see how this would like kind of push somebody out of filing a complaint? Sure. Um, the way it's worked. It's kind of the foundation. It was the same with... Yeah. Is, that, is that your only concern? No. Um, you better give up, officer. It doesn't matter. She's going to have a concern after concern after concern. As soon as you resolve one, she's going to have another one. She's got her two pet monkeys sitting over here on a stool, you know, obeying her every command. It, it's hilarious. Look at these guys. Look at them. Little camera poles and little camera sticks and their little telephones. It's cute. It's so cute. Anyway, she ought to get winter jackets for them. It's going to be getting cold up there pretty quick. Now, do I have to? What uh, would be the benefit of getting it notarized? It doesn't have to be notarized. Would, would there be a benefit, though? Like, say, oh, you know, they'll actually investigate it more thoroughly or something no. like that? No. Because according to, what was it I saw? That, hold on. According to... She is just so annoying. I'm going to skip through a whole bunch more of her fucking making up excuse after excuse after excuse why the police department's bad. This guy just walks away. Eventually, so I'm done with you. See you later. But it gets better. Do up here that I couldn't just run around and if I wanted to say, hey, I saw this dude, you know, okay. choking him. I'm, I'm done. If you guys have any more questions, sir, I'm trying to ask about uh, officer. Can I have a? I actually want to complain on you now. Wow. Well, apparently he doesn't care if you get choked. <laughs> For a complaint? No one will be coming out any okay. longer. If you'd like to fill for that a complaint? Out, you can. If you'd like to fill that out, you can, but no one will be coming to speak with so you. So no longer. supervisor will speak to us? Okay, well, we're going to sit here until someone comes out then. Yes, ma'am. We will be here all day, and you're going to get sick of us. Get okay. a supervisor out here. Full battery pack. Full battery with phones. So let's rock. We're going to be here all day, lady. Get a supervisor out here. Yeah, they'll be there all day. They won't go home until Angela releases them, tells them it's okay, they're good boys, they can go home now. That's when they're going to go home. They, they follow her around. It, it, it's pathetic. Uh, she's clung on to these two guys because nobody else will audit it with her anymore because uh, she's so stupid. Anyway, uh, let's uh, finish this off. I'm going to skip through a whole bunch of this videos because it's like an hour long and I'm just going to cut it, the next part of this out of here because it's stupid. She just stands there hollering at Angela and Angela's talking back to her, which she shouldn't be doing. She should just ignore her. But anyway, let's move on. Did you need me to sign the visitor access log? Ma'am, can you bring a supervisor here, please? Hey, you're creating privacy. Good job. Angela, why are you working for the people if you bully the people? 
I don't understand her. She's got a problem. I'll bet she just didn't get out of jail for doing six weekends for battery. I bet she didn't. What do you think? Angela, may I please have your business card as the person that refused to give me a supervisor regarding my officer complaint? I hope one of your cameras caught his name because I didn't. Can I have the name of that man that came out that I'm complaining on? I didn't catch his name. I actually was not recording. Oh. Much better. So Angela Green, who would not give me her own business card, which is sitting right there. Ugh, I can't get it. Are you a badge, buddy? You're probably not. That's why you're so grumpy. <laughs> Have a good day, Angela. I can't wait to follow up with my complaint against your disgusting, disturbing behavior. Okay, and thank you for mocking me. I got you on video mocking me because I could not hear. All right, do not discriminate against me because of my hearing impairment, ma'am. <clears throat> yeah, she sucked. Where are you going there, Angel? You made a fool enough out of yourself today? Are you gonna are you gonna go home now? I thought you guys were staying there all day until they got what they wanted. Incredible, incredible. Nice move. Ma'am, I had a question. Hi, um I needed to complain to somebody. I don't know, I was wanting to what were you gonna say? No, go ahead. Oh. This Angela woman, uh can you stop putting that in the way of my camera? Um <laughs> You're distracting me, ma'am. I'm trying to file a complaint. <laughs> no, they, they've refused to give me service, ma'am. She's creating privacy for herself. I thought that was allowed, Angel. thought that was allowed. Is that a no? <laughs> Come on. Ma'am? <laughs> Little do they know, I'm well tuned with the button now, thanks to the jail. Ma'am, I want you to know that I'm trying to file a complaint against Miss Green, and I'm assuming she's not married, she can't be married. Um, but Miss Green and the original officer that I was trying to complain on, okay? That lady just came over and turned off the speaker, so she can't hear a word she's saying now. It's hilarious. I do want to notify you that you have uh, people's phone numbers or something, emails or something sitting out here for everybody. Name of person. Okay, honey, bye. I gotta get my drug kits. <clears throat> well, we will have to further address this. As you guys see. She's going to go back in one more time to see if she can't provoke Angela into a confrontation. I don't know if it's going to work or not. What do you think? Oh, man. Look at her. Look at her. Wide glide coming through. Angela. Angela, just double checking that you are interfering with the complaint process, right? You're not sending a supervisor for yourself or that deputy, ma'am? I'm sorry, I can't hear you, Angela. You must not be able to see very good either because she's obviously talking to someone on the telephone. She's busy. Thanks for impeding the complaint process. Okay, Angela, hey. So you are not sending a supervisor for you or a deputy, is that correct? Is that correct? I hope you don't answer the phones here. That's not you, is it? You better hope it's not you. All your friends are gonna be mad at you though. Because we the people don't stand for this shit. Okay, honey buns? Yep, it's time for Angel to call all of her simple-minded followers to, to, to flood call this police department. It's so typical. There's nothing new about any of these people. They're all washed up morons. They're all going to jail more and more and more every day. It's just, it's just, it's just the end is coming. That's all there is to it. You've been nothing but nasty and rude. Whoever gave you those flowers should take them back. Is that your lover? We've established you are not a badge bunny. I wish you the best, Angela. There is Narcan available out there if you or anybody you know needs it. I did give you the gateways um, things. I believe they also will deal with mental health. I don't know what your problem is, but there is some sort of problem. It's not my business to find out. Um, no, actually. Anywho, uh, 
stinks for nothing and you have abused me for a long period of time and mocked me for not being able to hear you. You should be ashamed of yourself and anybody related to you should also be ashamed. I hope you don't break one of your nails off tonight. And if you do, just know it's karma for being a jerk. Well, thank God that's over. That was that was hard to do. That was hard to watch. It's it's it, oh my God! I can't even I can't even get started on what's wrong with this person, and, and those two little puppy dogs that follow around. I think you got separate leases for them, where they can walk together, but they're actually on separate leases. I don't know. But like I said, she needs to get in them little uh, winter sweaters there, you know, so she, they can cuddle up on the back seat of her car when she's she's driving to an audit. Oh, it's hilarious. It is hilarious. These people are getting so desperate for content. It, it, it's crazy. It's crazy. Stand there for an hour and a half, just hollering at people inside the place, and everybody starts ignoring you. It's, it's, it's hilarious. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Y'all have a great day. Love y'all. Bye. Hey, guys. As many of you know, I just finished serving my six of six weekends in the Grundy County Jail for charges that I was convicted of in LaSalle County. And with that, we will bring this afternoon to a close. Come on back tonight for more as we march along here from day one. Have a great afternoon.